Pinellas County is taking the state to court over a new elections law that they claim unfairly targets them out of all other counties in the state. ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Aline breaks down the law's impact and why some believe bad politics was at the heart of this bill. When it comes to Florida's recently updated elections law, the Pinellas County Commission says the state of Florida isn't playing fair. Their concerns all come down to about two paragraphs worth of text that essentially say county commissioners in single member districts will have to run again for their seats after a redistricting happens. This new provision also contains exceptions for Miami-Dade County, counties that don't have a charter, and those with no commission term limits. And when you factor those in, as of now, Pinellas County is the only county that's impacted. I sat down with Pinellas County Commissioner Janet Long and asked her about this. Does that feel targeted? When, that, when you have something that only impacts one county, that's why you file it as a local bill because there are other requirements that kick in. You must have two public hearings in the county and then it goes through a different per process within the Florida legislature and the Florida Senate. And so clearly, Yes, that's a very loaded question. It absolutely feels targeted. Pinellas County finished its redistricting process in December, and as the elections administration law stands right now, it would mean that County Commissioners Renee Flowers in District 7 and Karen Seal in District 5 would have to run for their seats again, despite them both having two years left on their current terms. And it passes 4-2. to two. Some members of the commission feel so strongly about this that they voted in late April to file this lawsuit against the Attorney General and Secretary of State asking for a temporary injunction to the law. The suit claims that the changes are illegal because they don't apply across the board to the entire state. It also says that it's unlikely that the law would impact any other counties in the future. My name is Pamela C. I spoke to Florida Gulf Coast University law professor Pamela C. about the suit. And while she says the Pinellas County Commission may have a point. There is a, a, a general indication that it may have been targeted. She also says that a lot can happen between between now and the next redistricting process. There's redistricting that will occur every 10 years. So it's very possible that other counties will be impacted at another time. So that's something you do need to pay attention to. And she adds that legally there is good reason to seek a new election after redistricting. Many things can happen, many things can change, and a lot of things that are very important to the people that live in these districts can be changed by people that they never voted for. One of the candidates now up for one of the seats is State Representative Chris Latvala, who has filed to run for the Pinellas County Commission District 5 seat. Latvala did not sponsor the bill that opened up these seats, but he did vote for it when it hit the House floor. I reached out to him for comment and he sent a statement saying in part, quote, it is the height of arrogance for the Pinellas County Commission to use tax dollars to sue the state to try to avoid running for re-election when some of their single member districts added 16,000 residents that never had the opportunity to vote for them. Multiple counties have a policy to make their single member county commissioners run for re-election during a redistricting year. He'll Hillsborough being one. The entire state Senate also runs for re-election during redistricting. Pinellas wants special treatment and they are using tax dollars to fight to not have to run and thus they are denying our residents their right to choose. End quote. I'm USF uh, Distinguished Professor Emerita. I spoke to ABC Action News political analyst Dr. Susan McManus about this. She says the concept of a termed out rep running for lower office isn't unusual. It's not uncommon. And then if they get termed out locally, if there are term limits, then it's not uncommon for them to go back to Tallahassee. But she also adds that it's not uncommon for people to look for deeper political meaning behind certain things like this new law especially right now. In an election year, there are people always looking for the political motive in just about anything that any public official does. Electioneer politics is very different 
from non-election year politics. In the end, Commissioner Long says the county will continue to fight the law. If the legislature would stop preempting all of our authority, well then, you know, that would be the solution. There's also concern about the timing of this bill and what the lawsuit means for elections. The qualifying period for this year's general election is next month and the primary is in August. So the fear is that sitting commissioners who have to run again won't have much time to decide if they want to run or to campaign if they do go through with an election. At this point, Commissioner Renee Flowers has filed for re-election and is currently unopposed, but Commissioner Seal has not filed. Latvala is currently running unopposed for her seat and has raised more than $100,000 for his campaign. In the studio, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News.